Time blocking is one of the best methods if you want to keep your focus and stay intentional about your time. Especially with the new Notion calendar update, Notion can be a great tool to time block. If you're wondering what time blocking is, it's basically segmenting your day into chunks of dedicated time where you know what tasks or activities you'll be doing. In this video, we wanted to give a Notion tour and tutorial of our ultimate time blocking Notion template, where we'll explain how to use it and combine it with Notion Calendar along with mobile usability and more. If you find this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. First, let's do a brief overview of this template. So on the left hand side, you'll have a navigation bar where you can go to your task inbox, calendar and all tasks, as well as return home button, which syncs across the entire template. Then underneath here, we have all of our databases, which you have to make sure not to delete or this template is not going to work. Under there, you'll see your daily time block. So you'll see all of your time block slots for today, as well as tomorrow and yesterday. In this section in the dashboard, we'll see the calendar and here you can see all of your time blocks in weekly view. You can see all of your events in weekly view, monthly view, and then you can see everything time blocks and events in one view. Underneath here is your tasks and here you can see your inbox. Inbox is basically tasks which are not allocated to any of your time blocks and incomplete tasks have been allocated. So you can see which time block it's supposed to be assigned to as well as the date and time and a tag and which tasks you've completed. So here is the general workflow when you first download this template. So the first thing you'll want to do is set up your time blocks. And to be clear, time blocks are chunks of time with a start and an end time. So make sure to add only those when you're in time blocks. So let's go to a week that's empty. And for example, here we can start adding some time blocks. So if we click the plus inside the calendar, you can immediately add it to this date. And let's say that this is our morning free time. And we're going to make sure to click end date and include time. So now we can choose, for example, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. is your morning free time. And you can tag it personal. And here you can also create additional tags as you need. Completion is going to be loaded based on the task that you assign to it. And the time slot also loads automatically so that you can see it clearly. So now if we click out, we have morning free time here. And if you want to duplicate this, you can simply click control click and then duplicate and move it over. Additionally, you can do control or command D to use a keyboard shortcut to duplicate it as well. So this is very quick once you have a setup here. So we recommend you to do this every week to set up your time blocks. And once you have that, then you can now add more time blocks. So let's say that you want to also add your work time. You could do work time. And this would be during your work hours. And let's say end date and time is going to be from 9 am to now it's going to be until 12 and maybe you eat lunch after that so this is just a sample schedule so now you can do the same control click duplicate move over or command control d like this and you can set up a similar schedule every day if you wish now, the next thing that's very important is to add events. So sometimes in your calendar, you might have family vacations. Someone might have a birthday. So in that case, you can simply click here and it's going to be tagged as an event, but make sure to just check this. And let's say this is personal. So we could put friend's birthday party and maybe you don't know the time exactly yet. So you could just sort of add it to your calendar just like this. So this is for when it is a all day event or just one time events that are not time blocks. And then you can also view them in monthly view because sometimes these kinds of events are easier to manage when you see it in month view. Then you can also view all. So now we can see everything here, but you can notice that this is marked as an event and this is marked as a time block. But the main view is this time block view if you're trying to just work with the time block. And the next very important thing is that throughout the day, you're going to want to add new tasks here. 
And these are just tasks that you know you need to do, but you don't know when. So for example, we have remember to buy groceries, need to call the doctor to schedule an appointment, make a review sheet for a client meeting and so on. So let's say a task pops up into your head, reply latest emails, and you could tag it such as computer, and then it ends up in the inbox. So now when you want to plan your time blocks, you can simply go to your time block here. And let's say that you decide that you're going to do your email replying. You can simply drag it up to here into this box. And let's say you're also going to work on making a review sheet for the client. And that's it for this one. And now you'll see that there's two tasks here during this time block and you can tick them off when you're done. And under here, you can see that these are still not allocated. So let's say that you're going to do that in the next day's morning free time. So you could just drag it over and you've basically assigned your tasks here. So now you see zero of two tasks, zero of two tasks. And when you do complete it, it's going to be ticked off. You'll see the percentage here and you'll also see one out of two tasks. So this is a very handy way to see what kind of tasks are allocated during your time blocks. And now in the inbox, it's completely empty. And that's what we want to achieve here. Whenever your inbox is empty, that's really great. And then once you have allocated all of your inbox tasks, you can check your incomplete tasks here. So these are everything that has been assigned to your time block and it shows your time block date. And once you complete them, you'll see them in the completed tasks. So in this way, we recommend you to first create your time blocks, then move your inbox tasks into your time blocks through here by dragging. And throughout the day, make sure to continuously add tasks that you might have into the inbox. And let's say once you get home, you could allocate them. And the other thing we wanted to show you is the daily time blocks. So here you can see your time blocks today. And this is really handy. Also, if you want to simply add a time block to today, you can just click plus new here and it's going to be added today. So let's say that from 4 to 5 p.m. you have a hobby class. So you could put hobby class and you could put here and they include time and it could be 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. like this and you can even directly add time block tasks here so you could do something like remember to bring all materials and shop for them or something like that if you wanted to add your time block tasks here it's also completely possible and they will be connected to this so now if we go to outside, you'll see that your hobby class got added to your time block schedule for today. Alternatively, you can also check tomorrow and add tasks through tomorrow. And you can see everything that happened yesterday as well, like this. So the next thing we wanted to show you is these navigation pages. So if we go to task inbox, you'll just simply see your inbox here. If we go to calendar, we'll see calendar in week blocks, month, events in month view, and view all for the month like this. And here we have plus add a new time block and plus add a new event. So depending on what your needs are, you can add an event or a time block directly through these buttons. And then if we go to all tasks, you can see everything here from your inbox, your incomplete tasks to your completed tasks. So the next thing we wanted to show is how you can use this really well with Notion's calendar. So if we click open in calendar, you'll basically see a view of this inside of your Notion calendar automatically. And if you're unfamiliar with Notion Calendar, we highly recommend you to check out our video that we did about a deep dive into Notion Calendar for all of the best use cases and details on how to use it. But basically, we can just click open in calendar. And now we see our time block calendar really easily like this. So we see our morning free time, focus work, lunch, client meetings, and our hobby class for today. 
And if we click it open, we can open it in Notion. And we can even see the tasks that we were supposed to do during this time. So this is a really useful way to utilize Notion's calendar. And alternatively, if you want to add your time blocks directly from your Notion calendar, that's also very easy to do. Just make sure that this is clicked as your calendar that you're working on right now. And then all you have to do is just drag and create a time block. So this one would be called focused work. And you can simply open it in Notion once it's done. So we can click here, open in Notion and our time block is done here. So that's another really easy way to create your time blocks, but you do need to tag it correctly. So in this case, if this is focus work, it would be work, but it does save a lot of time if you need to simply create more time blocks through your Notion calendar. So additionally, another feature using Notion calendar. So if we go to calendar here, you'll notice that we're seeing everything from personal meetings to work all in one place. But if you wanted to see a specific calendar type in different colors, you might want to consider filtering each of these into different tabs. So here's what we mean. So if we duplicate this one and we call this personal time blocks, and we can just filter it by the tags. And this is going to only show personal, save for everyone. Now we can duplicate this again. And this one is going to be called work time blocks. And we can filter it again. So we only show work time blocks like this. And what you can do is actually open this view in Notion Calendar by clicking here. And now we have a separate calendar here. So we're going to toggle this one off so you can only see this. So these are only your personal time blocks and you can even change the color so it's easier to see. And now if we go back to Notion and we wanted to see our work time blocks, you can go here, open in calendar. And now this one is going to be shown in orange. So now you see focus work in between in different colors. So if you want to achieve a sort of colored look inside of your Notion calendar, we highly recommend you to filter each of your views and open them in calendar and change the colors of those. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're only going to show two of them, but you can go really deeper and create even more tags and filters to show the calendar the way that you want it. The next thing that we wanted to talk about is if you're using the task inbox, we highly recommend using this inside mobile view. And with mobile view, you can easily add tasks on the go and then later check in on them through the template. Now let's open up Notion on our mobile and how we recommend you to use it on mobile is to go to your task inbox and just keep this on hand. And whenever you come up with a task that you feel like you need to do later, you can simply click new task. And let's say that we need to send an email to Anne. Then we can tag it as computer like this done. And now we can click back and it's going to show up in your task inbox because it's not assigned to any time block. So now once you have more time and you get back home, you could go to your dashboard here. And let's say that we're going to be doing this during our lunch time block. We could click it open and we'll see this inbox task. So now all you need to do is drag it over into your time block tasks and it's going to show up here. So now we have one task here that needs to be completed. And if we click out, our task inbox is empty once again. That's the basics of using this ultimate time blocking Notion template. If you're interested, check the link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next video.